the GT1 era of racing. I think this was some of the best racing we ever got, and one of my favorite cars in that era is Aston Martin's DBR9. So, I thought I would issue a challenge to take the DBR9 and go around Zolder and try to be a lap time. Now you may ask yourself, what's so special about this car? There are lots of great GT1 cars, the Corvette, Maserati MC, I think Ferrari had the 550 or 575, all kinds of great stuff. Well, let me show you. So here's the start of our lap in the DBR9. I managed a 13099. I'll have a screenshot for evidence later. Zolder is a pretty fun track, unless you hate chicanes, in which case you probably hate Zolder. But this car is a blast to drive around here. There's just enough ABS and TC to prevent you from sending yourself into the shadow realm, but you can still have a lot of fun in the car. It gets a little loose. I will say be really, really careful about downshifting too early. It can it can send you in a pretty gnarly spin. Aside from that, there's not a lot to this car. It's pretty planted and easy to drive. It points really easily. And as you'll be able to see in the Villeneuve chicane, the car actually handles weight transition really, really well. This was not a blazing fast lap. There's definitely some mistakes here and there, but I think it's a pretty reasonable time to aim for for a challenge on a short notice like this. And lastly, we'll have the TV footage of the lap. Sadly, it just doesn't sound as good in iRacing as it does in real life. Although, it's not bad. I doubt we'll see any updates to these cars anytime soon. The GT1 series is not too popular, although I am going to try to change that. And I think that'll start here with this lap challenge. 130.99 or faster. See what you can do. <laughs> 